Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Chicken Bros. Yes, Chicken Bros, which is actually a food truck here in San Jose, California. Here doing a massive, yes, massive fried chicken sandwich challenge. So this is voted one of the top five chicken sandwiches in all of California. So I'm super excited to give these a try. So for this challenge, we're gonna have 10 sandwiches. Yes, 10 sandwiches, which they are big, juicy thighs. I do like thighs. I also like breasts as well. Chicken breasts, that is chicken breasts. Big juicy thighs, which are actually beer battered. They have like all their signature flavors. We're gonna have two of each. So they have five on the menu, 10, two of each, etc. So we have some featuring things like a classical kind of style of like mayo, pickles, you know, that real traditional one. We have kind of some more Nashville style. We have ones with barbecue. So it all sounds really delicious. It smells great. So we're going to have some fun. We're gonna eat some food. Um, like I said, we are gonna have 30 minutes to complete this challenge or to get the meal for free, which would be pretty cool. And if not, we will be paying for the meal, which I believe is just over a hundred bucks or something. So anyway, let's have some fun. Uh, I think I already said that, but yeah, I'm pumped. So some of the best fried chicken sandwiches in all, 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 all of California. I came to the right place. This food truck is actually open seven days a week, guys. They have pretty much a permanent location and they go to a brewery on the weekends. Uh, but yeah, so I'm pumped. So let's have some fun and uh, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with all the chicken sandwiches. They do look very, very, very good. So I have everything from the standard, which is basically like their signature uh, mayonnaise with the pickles, the onions. We have ones which have the Nashville hot kind of oil and everything on them. Lots of coleslaw. Everything looks delicious. Even the Chick Norris, just the Chick Norris, which has a barbecue sauce on it. These ones are brand new. So they look awesome. I'm super excited to give these a go. Um, brioche buns, all that good stuff. So. How about we can start here? Just momentarily. I want to give a huge thank you to Kix as well. Kix is actually a shoe store next door. They're like, hey, you can film inside. So we're filming inside and set outside. So that works really, really well. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm pumped. These are delicious. Where am I going to start? Probably maybe one of these up here. This is the kind of uh, traditional. So how about we get started? We'll say the count of. How about three? Two, one, let us eat. Mm. Ooh, that crisp. Very good. Mm. Really nice seasonings, and then they got a level heat, a level one heat on them. Guys, super moist and juicy thighs. Really good. Mm. And they also put a honey on the bottom bun, which has this really great sweetness, very delicious. But, comment down below if you're a breast or a thigh person. I like both, I'm lucky. And we're talking about chicken, of course. Awesome. That's one down. One down, many more to go. So boys, mm. guys, and the flavors. I don't know, I'm just saying, I see why this is one of the top chicken sandwiches. Delicious, I can't wait to try all these other ones. These are just the plain ones. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Chicken Bros. Yes, Chicken Bros, a very, very popular and famous food truck in California, in San Jose to be specific. And like I said, this place has been awarded in the top five best fried chicken sandwiches in all of California and I gotta say based on my first couple bites they were dang good we're talking some juicy chicken beer battered chicken some good sauces and additions we're probably about two two minutes 15 20 seconds something like that so for this challenge today we did have 30 minutes to eat the 10 sandwiches these are definitely large sandwiches and I will say so they were spicy you 
order your sandwiches and you pick a level of spice. There is the no spice and there is one, two, three, four, and five. So six levels in total. I went um, all with level one, figuring, oh, that won't be that spicy. And we're actually live on Instagram right now. So what's up everybody on Instagram? Check me out on joeleats.com and Joel Hanks on YouTube. Instagram, Mongers Food. All right, let's try this one here, guys. We got some heat, got some pickles, some onions, some bro sauce. Mm. Woo! It's like a flavored aioli. Really good. They're all level one. Oh, so you got a little kick to it, then, huh? Mm -hmm. A little spice, huh? Mm hmm. Perfect amount. You already two down on your third one? Mm hmm. Well, I gotta say, I tell you, I am not spice sensitive. I will drink hot sauce, but this level one was spicy. So honestly, if you are at all uh, cautious of spice, go with no spice. I gotta say, I'm actually surprised how spicy even the level one is. I got some heat, everybody. They also actually have a challenge with their level five spice, which is pure basically reaper and like just crazy, crazy, crazy hot. So I gotta say, if you really like heat, they will definitely bring the heat to put it that way. And uh, let me know down below if maybe I should go back and try that crazy spicy challenge at some point. Like I said, if this is a level one, I can only imagine how deathly spicy that level five is. I mean, reapers are nothing to joke with. Yeah, guys, this level one is kicking me. I got a real burn in the mouth. Woo. I'm surprised how spicy that is. If you don't know, now you know. Food truck culture is really big in California, whereas in other parts of the world, it's not very big or very common. But here, these food trucks operate year-round, essentially as restaurants, and it was really cool. And we're just over five minutes in, everybody. Slowly but surely, we are making our way. These are some big sandwiches. And they're spicy. I'm getting some more deluxe ones, like the Nashville Deluxe. This has got some coleslaw on it. The sauce are a great way to kind of and in addition to that heat, we mild a little bit, but these are really spicy, a lot spicier than I anticipated. So if you're ever in the San Jose area, I definitely recommend stopping on by for a good chicken sandwich as they do operate seven days a week. I also have some ketchup. I gotta try with ketchup, you guys know I love ketchup. Not really need though. Mm. Great addition. But at that 30 minutes and the quest for the free meal, so with that, let's get to the rest of the video. That's pretty much all the info, and uh, I'll talk more about the food here as we go along. This is one of the Nashville ones. Huge, huge, huge sandwich here, everybody. This is crazy. So let's try this. We've got the chili oil edition on top. Great crunch on that chicken. Save it. I didn't save it. Very good. But I'm really feeling that heat down here. That honey on there, guys, that honey with that sweetness and savory and spice, you get the whole trifecta. Oh, and one last thing. Let me know, do you prefer a spicy chicken sandwich or a mild chicken sandwich? Usually I would say spicy, but these things were kicking my butt. You know, I'm still gonna go with spicy though. So let me know if you like spicy or mild. Very good. Whew. All right, guys. A lot of food. That is for sure. But it's real good. Coming on about 10 minutes. Whew. It's gonna rock and roll, guys. Let's hit this one. This is the deluxe. Deluxe. Uh, Woo, excuse me. Uh, Comments to the chef. 
Got real quiet after I burped. <laughs> hey, you're, you're a monster, bro. It's like watching it live is insane. I eat every day. What can I say? Hey, hey. All right, buddy. We're getting through it. Like I said, very delicious, but no shortage of food. Really good, but these are definitely bigger, spicier than I just made it. That being said, number eight. Woo! Crazy guys. Look at that. That's like such a big bite. That is a uh, that was a big one. I also mentioned I don't think I've ever had beer battered fried chicken before. That's good. Oh, uh, Spanish got my nose running. Woo. Like I said, crazy how spicy that level one is. I mean, then they got level five, which is Carolina Reaper, so you know they ain't playing, that's for sure. We are live right now, that is true. We are live, so you gotta check it out on live. Rules of the internet, picks or didn't happen, right? So there you go. Yes, sir. <sighs> Last but not least, there, buddy. Oh. Woo. No one can believe it, brother. Uh, you are a monster. That's number 10, guys. It's a lot of food, everybody. Monster. It's good, but it's a lot of food. Yes. That looked impossible in my eyes, bro. Shout out to Big Dog, man. Came out, did his thing, had chicken bros and kicks. Yes, 10 yes. sandwiches live, dude. Y'all never seen anything like that before. Ooh. And we're not including the drinks that he had to drink to take it down. So that's one, two, three, four. There it is. There All it is. gone. Uh, you guys see it there, man. Joel Hansen, check him out on YouTube right there. He did it live in the flesh. Model versus food, IG handle. Ooh. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank Everybody, you, we are done. Right about 19 minutes, almost on the dot. That was a lot of food. A lot, a lot, a lot of food. I will say that was a very good chicken sandwich. I think what I was most impressed with was actually just the plain sandwich. Um, reason being, that honey, that little bit of that like signature kind of um, mayonnaise they have, the pickles, and just that chicken, that beer battered chicken, that was very, very, very good. So for that, we do get the meal for free, which is cool. Like I said, there's a lot of food. These are way bigger than I expected and so much spicier than I expected. I mean, so I know the level one, they said was like 45,000 Scoville units, which is about five times harder than a jalapeno. But I was like, that can't be that bad. It's only level one. It is hot. They got some heat, that's for sure. A lot spicier than I anticipated. Definitely a lot bigger than I anticipated. You get a very big sandwich, tasty sandwich at that. 
Uh, but that, everybody, if you are ever in the San Jose area, definitely stop um, by at Chicken Bros here. Again, you can follow them as they go between their main location and their brewery locations. Um, and they also do events and stuff at some point. But yeah, like I said, huge thanks for being here. The staff has been awesome. Thank you, everybody, on the Instagram. And everybody's going live. Um, but yeah, that was great, guys. Just a lot of chicken. Like I said, spicy. Spicy chicken. So I can only imagine what like the three, four, five is looking like. But, like I said, definitely recommend stopping by. Maybe don't eat 10 at once, you know, maybe 10 over 10 or so days, but definitely a good chicken sandwich to try. And uh, yeah, if you stop on by, tell them I said hi, say you saw like I eat way too much food. And I'm sure that'll have a good kick and a good laugh, because I don't know, 10 sandwiches is definitely a lot. All right, but like I said, guys, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed today's challenge. Of course, the next time, stay happy, the hungry, happy eating. And with that, have a lovely day. What's going on everybody and right now we are driving from Fresno, California to Yosemite. Yes, Yosemite, which the spelling looks like Yosemite, uh, but Yosemite guys. So this is April, this is still considered the winter season. So unfortunately I only just found out that there are certain closures, the main road throughout the park, like the highway is actually only open from about May or June until I think they said October, November. So we're gonna have some limitations. Um, we will be able to see kind of the main Yosemite, or blah, 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 Yos, there you go, Yosemite Valley, which is where they got like the El Capitan, um, one of the big waterfalls, kind of like the main sites. Um, a main portion, very small portion though. So I don't really know what all we're gonna see. Um, in 2022, one of the glacier roads is also completely closed all year. So I don't know uh, what it's gonna be like, but we will have some fun nonetheless. Um, we are on the way. It's definitely a bit of a drive through the countryside. We'll have to grab some more gas at some point. Definitely don't wanna run out, out here. Um, but that being said, should be good. So let's head on up, let's have some fun, and uh, let's see what this is all about. So we're getting into bigger trees, definitely more wooded tree area, and we've just been going like this for forever. I mean, really, it's an hour of this, which is just stunning and crazy and just very, very beautiful. Um, just these windy tree roads. Uh, really, that's about it. It's just you gotta sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. We were at 5,000 feet elevation. There were some signs, and there are um, some glimpses uh, of the kind of big valleys and stuff, which are directly ahead of us now um, that we've been getting to see and lucky enough. Fun fact: there's also look, there's some restrooms, kind of a uh, pole point. That's where Glacier Point Road is. So, although it's closed right now, that's where you would go to see the top of the, the uh, I think it's one of the waterfalls. So I would be definitely going up that way if it was not closed right now. Um, so like I said, we're heading to the main valley. And yeah, they do also sell, I think I don't want to mention this, they sell gas in the park here by the entrance, which I think is super smart. It's something I was worried about. But uh, this looks like an area which was obviously affected by the fires. 2021 was a horrible fire season. And uh, yeah, this is just, I think, a reflection of that, essentially. And the incredible, incredible, incredible landscapes of Yosemite. Looking over, we got, I think what they call it, it was a half dome or whatever it is. There's a big old falls. Lots more to see, we're gonna dive further into this, but wow, this is this valley is crazy. And then, yeah, this is the glacier. You can see where the glaciers tracked and moved all of the rocks and mountains out of the way. Some more wonderful sights of Yosemite. Look at this big, huge cliff, guys. This is ginormous. And then this one here, which is it just insane. Then we have a big waterfall. It's crazy to see the water expelling off of that. Just absolutely stunning here. Now we're getting some really big trees. These ones are massive, 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 massive. I mean like huge. And guys, 
the smell right now is priceless like it is earth pine cedar just fresh air like like nothing else this is absolutely insane um i pulled off to this place it's called something something beach so there's like a little bit of water there nothing too too special but i'm figured like i'm just gonna try to make my way like i don't know how if i can loop through this multiple times i don't know how easy that is so i just want to make the most of it to see as much as i can we are under a crazy rock face guys just look at this this is so massive we'll turn this around show it but my goal is to get to like up on a cliff or a mountain or whatever for sunset so we got probably a good three hours um so yeah we're gonna keep looking this like this is just Oh my God, this view, I'm gonna show you. And on second thought, while we're here, I mean, how often am I gonna be in Yosemite? Look at this view, look, look, looks behind me, guys. A monstrous cliff. I mean, this is just stupendous. Um, we're gonna go in the water. I went and got my, went and got my flip flops. Uh, I'm gonna go take a little, little trek in. I'm gonna ditch these shorts and we gotta go, we gotta go in. And here we go. Ah! Okay, that is, very 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 brisk to say the least very cold Woo! that is some cold 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 water i mean so cold that i'm starting to already like lose feeling in my feet you know that feeling when your nerves freak out damn Woo! all right but we're here oh man that is yeah that is nerve pain right now but we at least did it i mean look at this view look, look, look at what i'm looking at look what i'm looking at how can i not Ooh, cold though. Here, I'm just gonna wipe my face. Thank you, God. All right, guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Woo, yeah, cold, but I'm glad uh, Glad I had to do it, because why not? Because when am I, when am I gonna be go seven? But look at this view. And just look at this waterfall's going. So right at the top, right, it's solid water, basically. Then it hits a rock and just disperses into what's basically like fog. Looks like a fog machine or mist just rolling down the mountain. But obviously it's so intense or so much water that it, you know, reconsolidates and, you know, makes a river. And here we're in some of the main valley. I don't know what this face is called, but it's super cool. It's all like indented and circular there. Then that's the uh, half dome, I believe it's called. Or maybe I'm mixing them up. But yeah, super huge, super cool. Um, under normal times, I know you can like, this one I think you need a permit to scale. Uh, I don't know. Make a long story short, then there's the biggest mountain cliffs I've ever seen right here. So we're gonna try to hike. So it's just after five o'clock and I think I misjudged how light slash dark, like late it's gonna be. Normally it's late until about 7.30. Um, however, I think with the mountains, uh, the sun is kind of, we'll say setting a bit sooner than I thought, at least kind of behind the mountains. So. Uh, in this little valley so this might be interesting but this is super cool we're walking to what i believe is the happy isles and the mist mist trail i think it's called um there was a uh some kind of fall somebody recommended me to check out for a trail here so basically we're gonna get like one hike uh we're basically just gonna head this way pretty much that's what we have time for but look at the size of, like these huge 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 trees guys vast forest it's also crazy because we we're so highly elevated right now that although it was like 80 degrees you know however long ago and i took my shirt off because it was so hot it is now getting so cold that i took my sweater like it dropped very drastically that is a hundred percent for sure so a vernal fall that is what the person recommended so we are heading on that route with the mist trail, there's the sign right there. Um, super straightforward, look at this. Look at the size of that tree. It's just huge. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're heading up this way. It should be good. But she basically just said you can keep going higher and higher as long and as far as you want. It could be like a couple hours, she also said. So I don't know how much time we're actually gonna have because we gotta be considerate of it getting dark. That being said, it's like I said, it's about five now. So I'm gonna get a hustle and a bustle and hopefully we're gonna see a little more than a little less. One thing's for sure, there's a heck of an incline on this trail and uh, we're only just begun. So you definitely can tell 
gaining some elevation. And we're almost there. Got these stairs. I'm getting pelted with water right now from the falls. But we have made it. Crazy, guys. Crazy. And we actually made it just in time that we're gonna see the sun set behind this mountain. So that's kind of what I wanted to see. I anticipated being a little different, but that's perfect. But yeah, right now, currently getting soaked from the water. And you can see the rainbow from all the water and see how wet everything is. Puddles of water. Crazy. So here I am with the falls, everybody. Waterfalls, rainbows and all. This is insane. It's absolutely monstrous. Like I said, we're all getting wet here. And one hour of incline cardio later, guys, this is our reward. We get a huge, stunning view. The waterfall. We'll get a little closer to it over here. The valley. This is a beautiful walk. I would say, I don't know, 20 minutes, the sun will be behind that mountain. So I'm gonna figure out here real quick whether we're gonna stay or we're gonna head. Because like I said, just those wet rocks is really what I'm afraid of. But let's have a peek up here and see what the rest of this looks like. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is really starting to go down. This whole valley is now basically not lit. Like this part, like minute ago I had to cover it. And I don't really have to cover it to get that same visual. You also see on the mountains up here, it's getting a lot dimmer. Oh, it is getting dark, everybody. It is really getting dark. Again, just like you can see now, the visuals on the mountains. There you go, so we, we're getting to see our sunset up on a mountain in Yosemite. Oh, and there you go, it's pretty much gone. Just like 5% left. There you go, yeah, see, basically it's gone. See how clearly you can see the mountains now? It's still up there, because those are quite higher, but this area is now not being sun. You can tell in my hands, it's been shaded. There you go, guys, we saw it, that's it. It's gone, the sun is officially gone. It's just a hue behind the trees. So now let's really quickly head back down the path so we can get past all the wet and dangerous parts before it's uh, gone or before it's, you know, dark. But there we go. Woo. Even basically got that on the camera, which is pretty cool. So let's head back down and you can hear the, uh, hear the waterfall pretty much right away as soon as you go to the side of it. Yeah, like just look at these uh, steps. Pretty crazy, pretty steep. So I'm gonna get back to focusing. All right, we're past the wet part. I gotta say, it is so much colder, especially when you're wet, oh my gosh. That water this time, like my hands are frozen. I do have my sweater, I'm gonna try not to put it on try to let my skin dry as much as possible. Admittingly, I think I got less wet on the way down than the way up, which is good. Whoa, I almost just rolled my ankle. Uh, that wouldn't have been good. But um, it was, it was, it's so much colder. I mean, the air is much colder. Whereas before again, earlier today, it was like 80 degrees, like 25 Celsius, something like that. Um, it is now like probably like in the 60s and maybe like 15 degrees so yeah if it wasn't for you know me getting some exercise in i think it'd be pretty dang cold and that water's freezing but that was super cool uh definitely recommend that hike i would definitely consider going further on that but man you gotta plan like you gotta plan days like, like this place is is so intense and last thing, so you take the Mist Trail, you know, Vernal Falls, Nevada Falls, Half Dome, six miles, that would be super cool. Again, you, I'd love to do it at some point in my life, but you need a permit and you have to be able to, uh, you have to be able to like climb, you need ropes and stuff. And then here, similarly, if you want to take a different route. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Crazy how some of these people take, do such these long distances. Again, it would just take days or hours. 
All right, we're officially down. We're on the original bridge where I took the one clip. Um, that actually only took about half an hour and I was going pretty leisurely, I would say. So it took about an hour going up and I really did only stopped to kind of do these clips. And then on the way down, um, I mean, again, I didn't stop necessarily, but I felt like I was, you know, going at a more leisurely pace, but I was also not on the incline, you know what I'm saying? So, good stuff. That's about that, guys. That's pretty much, I think, Yosemite for us today. Super, super cool. So this is what you can see in Yosemite in about four, four and a half hours, nonstop. So pretty dang cool. And uh, if there's any more sites, well, we'll show you two of them. And it's really starting to cool off. We are heading out of the park, but there you can see the big half dome. Definitely a sight to be seen. And then it's actually really interesting to see all these places um, like half lit like they are versus directly lit like in the day. There's that waterfall we saw earlier, so gorgeous. And here is an awesome view right there, guys. That is a crazy, crazy mountain. So gorgeous right now. Just absolutely insane to see what everything looks like. It looks great when the, with the sun setting. These are a lot of like those famous photos like the Apple photo when they did the Yosemite uh, iOS. Crazy, everybody. Just absolutely 